everyone, welcome to the 20, 2020 uh, presidential debate for Desert, Desert Hills Middle School. We have candidates Leon Jacob over there and Ryan Benham over here. We are going to be asking five questions and addressing five problems. What is your focus going to be when you are president? As president, what I will do is I'll grab my Donald Trump it and I'll, so I can show Biden youth inspiration. Everyone in the school. As president, I will um I'll, I'll think of something when I become president. Now it is time for open debate. My answer will be the better one because A, he does not gonna do anything because, so and I'm gonna put my Donald Trump it. But I don't know how Joe Biden you with inspiration. Okay, well, I mean, once I become president, I'll figure some things out. You know, live in the moment. The students will probably um, figure something out. And I'll just, you know, be at the head, living the life of president. I disagree. Because we the life, because there's going to be fights, they're going pow, pow, pow. What a wonderful. Next question. What revenge will you enact on the other if you do not win? What I would do when I have, if I lose, my revenge would be A. I'd go get I'd go to a beauty salon, get tons of makeup, and then go to a Halloween store, get a bunch of ha Halloween costumes. Then I'll dress up as Leon Limited and go withdraw himself from from the office, and then let me, and then let me become the president. Okay, what I would do is probably buy all the ketchup from the store so his hot dog will be ruined. Now it's time for open debate. Uh, well, I might have some better ideas for revenge. That looked like a pretty good Lunchable you had in the fridge. Uh-oh. Well, maybe I, I did have better ideas other than just going, kicking out of office and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Maybe. <coughs> hmm. I did see you with that nice, cool basketball. Hmm. Maybe I should, while you're going shooting hoops, I should go over, make my new lockerinator, and, goes, and go block you while you try to go, <laughs> Me balls! Me balls! <sighs> Sorry. Um... Okay, the next question is, what's the next question? Oh yeah, how can you s stop the spread of coronavirus? I'll probably make six foot square boxes, put them all over the school, to make sure the students don't leave. And I'll prohibit tag at recess. Uh, well, what I would do, other than just trap them in a box and go, I am a robot, we could, Turn the, herms, the thermostat to the high goes, I don't know, like a thousand or something, and it will be so hot that it will burn the COVID out of the whole world! <laughs> it is now open for debate. Well, I also think since the coronavirus is so hard to stop the spread of, um, I will just make everyone get coronavirus, and so since everyone has it, technically no one has it. Why not just have... Um, if anyone's seen like these movies or have seen Star Wars, how the stormtroopers always have these helmets, or sorry, or Darth Vader wearing. Why not just um, so we all the school just spends all their money on making Darth Vader hats for everyone in this school. So then they so then it, it somehow gets rid of COVID. You know. Oh, what the heck? Delete that footage. The fourth question is, would you rather walk uh, walk upon a river of Legos or walk through fire? Well, what a trick question. Well, fire would burn burn you, so then you'd grab your Donald trumpet and then you'd just blow so hard that it would blow the fire out. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Or you can go to the <coughs> to the um, Waco River and, and try to walk through where you can just grab your hill Hillary clip-tones, so then you clip the tops of the Lego pieces so then they're not that sharp. So I think I'd go with the Legos. 
I'd probably go with the fire because if you went with the Legos, your feet would hurt a lot. But if you went with the fire, your feet wouldn't be the worst problem you had. It is now open for debate. Well, walk into fire. Yes, your feet wouldn't be the be most problem. You'd probably get smoke in your armpits and then you'd go. Bleh. But then the Legos. <laughs> I think with the Legos, you'd get distracted and start building all the Legos. So you'd never actually get through them, and the pain would last forever. Oh, 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 oh where are we? Oh, seriously, stop catching me asleep! Oh, wonderful answers, all of them. What happened to my chair? Come on, guys! The fifth and final question is the hardest of them all. What did you have for lunch today? I don't know, I made a PB&J sandwich for today, but now that I know Ryan has a Lunchable... Uh oh. Well, I think I'm gonna eat my Lunchable, like, um, right now, so yeah, no, I'm just gonna go eat that Lunchable and I'll find it! Oh wait, I forgot to zoom in. Come on, man! <laughs> Terrible camera right over here. Okay. Ezra, we have mine. No, Ezra, we already did your part. Oh, don't worry. Uh, they're going pow, 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 and then the, and then, <coughs> and the people watching this debate are going to be watching the Seattle versus Arizona game. So you know, what a great g debate this is. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> right. Um. <laughs> I don't. Okay, got it for a second. I need to think of an answer. I wasn't ready. Um. You didn't stop it. I know. I was doing the blooper reel. <laughs> <laughs> 